All right, there, Mark here from Six Plus, going over another colossal giant that I've been able to get my hands on, and that, as you can see by the screen, is the Gate Charger Colossus. I'm really excited to get this one done. Um, he is very, very imposing, and yeah, he was from the TT Combat Siege of the Small Folk Kickstarter, to my knowledge. He will be going to Max Mini in the near future. Um, I will obviously update links in the description as that happens. But we'll transition over to the actual parts of the model on the board. Catch you in a second. So we're here with all the components, including a 130mm MDF base. that I've given it a sand around the side um, because i done something wrong with it. <laughs> Don't worry. When you get your base, it'll be all good. But anyway, so let's start off from top to bottom. You've got a nice, chunky, very detailed head to work with, as you can see there. Really, really full of character. A lot of skulls, but a big, big beard and a nice, nice form of leathery hat, I want to say, to play around with. Then if we go for the torso, see so this torso has the left arm sculpted in. There's a lot of detail, a lot of skulls, nice musculature um, sculpted in. Need to go around and just sort out a mould line. But in all honesty, you're going to have some form of mould line that you normally have to work on with miniatures. I'll just need to take my time because there's a lot of musculature that I need to match up. Other than that, that's absolutely fine. Then we got the legs or the top part of the waist so that fits in there when it's obviously all cleaned up a lot more bits and pieces to play around with you got a cat i think some form of cannon or something attached to his back more bits and pieces to play around with then the actual charger part here so once that's all cleaned up by the looks of it that then joins up like that and that wraps around the actual front torso so he's running forward charging the gate obviously in the name there you go and it's wrapped with chains and stuff there's a lot to play around with with the previous giants that i've shown off i will be building this chap on stream but then that slots in really quite nicely a little bit of miller putt green stuff to fill in that gap but that fits really nicely it's notched so it just fits and the same with this side here really nicely fit and i don't see just a small little mold line there that i need to tidy up small little one there the very very little mold lines which is great when it comes to resin absolutely great because you don't want to be sanding and cutting resin too much unless you've got a respirator and a well ventilated area but we are going to do some editing wizardy woo and after the stream when i build this gentleman up we'll continue the video so i'll catch you in a minute and we're back here with the gate charger Colossus. He is very, very imposing and very impressive. As I've stated before, I built this not so small gentleman on stream. He, he went down an absolute treat. Don't get me wrong, I need to still go around, do a little bit of titivation and tidy up just in little bits that I just need to tidy up a little bit of a mold line here or a mold line there. But in the grand scheme of things, he went together so, so well. So a little mold line I just need to sort out. It's a little bit on this rope work here. Just need to uh, sculpt it and carve it a little bit better. Just for my own peace of mind. I'm going to go around and use some Milliput green stuff. Just to fill in these little gaps here. But the legs, everything went together so, so well. Just had to carve a little bit underneath the beard here to make it slot in that little bit more snug. 
So then all I've got to do is a little bit of green stuff around here just to carry on the 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 I'm not quite sure. I think that's hair. Yeah, that that's hair from underneath his hat. And it's just hopefully you can see by the actual video. He is big. He is very, very, very big. And I'm really excited. He's on a 130mm base. What I may do, um, like I did with the, uh, I'm going to do with the previous lady, the Shipwrecker Colossus. I'm going to get another 130mm MDF base. Just to build up the base a little bit more. Um, and just sand it and keep it nice and clean. It's just they are so big. I do want to have quite an impressive uh, substantial base to work with because there is a chunk of resin here. So to put it in retrospect, I will just lie him on this mat so it gives you a bit of an idea of height. He is about 20 centimetres tall. He is quite hunched over a little. If you see there from his um, profile, he is hunched over because he's got this just big wrecking... Um, stump of a tree i was saying on stream so please if you do want to have some input outside of youtube on what i do join me on twitch streams um in the discord as well we're going to be painting up this tree as a redwood because uh redwoods to my knowledge are some of the biggest growing trees that are still alive today so i just thought that'd be really quite impressive but other than that, I'm really, really pleased with how this chappy came out. And the final one, to my knowledge, that I need to get hold of would be the Trampler. And, yeah, I'm just really pleased with this. And I hope you are as well, because there's so much detail on this model. It's, it's just going to be an absolute love to get him painted it was really enjoyable to build him just with the size of this resin i've built many other resin kits before and they've been interesting um to say the least there was no warpage that i needed to worry about on any uh, any of these parts here but yeah i've waffled on enough very much appreciate you coming through on this journey as i show off the gate breaker uh the gate charger colossus to you all um the usual if you like the video please like comment subscribe if you haven't already more content like this many more reviews build tips all of that's coming out and social media links facebook uh twitch discord if you want to chat with me outside of youtube and stuff all down there you're more than welcome to join and i hope you share this with people that you think may enjoy it but anyway, I've blabbered on enough. I've taken enough of your time. It's very much appreciated. So I wish you all a fantastic rest of your day, whatever you are doing. And to catch you in the next one. Take care.